I'm not scared of just suppositions. I like things that also are a little bit disturbing. I like a touch of humor. We always tend to see things on one way and it's good to see how it would look in another way. And you will see and be surprised that you actually just need to move them around and give them a new life, a new pizzazz. Lovely. Look at this place. I don't know where to look because there's like a lot of stuff that's really interesting. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one actually catches the, my eye, yeah? The Roman bust. Usually if you enter a collector's home, it can feel like a gallery. But what I really liked about Isabel's house is how you enter and you immediately feel at home. It has a really good lived-in quality. I travel to a country, I make a point to go and visit galleries, craftsmen or artisans. So I'm always curious. I love art that makes me smile. Sculptures is what I would go first. The fact of being able to go around an object, the three-dimensional, is something that is quite appealing to me. I love the shadows it creates. And uh, sometimes at night, you would be surprised that even the rabbit has its own life. Sculpture can add a lot of like intrigue into a room and tell a story, which is also very powerful. Yeah, definitely. So. There are a lot of conversation pieces mm. around yes, here. Yes, yes. I have to ask you about this crocodile swimming towards me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the first piece that I'm actually buying with intention. Um, oh, you bought it for this table specifically. Yes, because okay. after I went to swimming with the sharks and we went to see a, a beautiful reserve and then you could see exactly this, the form, you know, and so big and so powerful. And then I go to see the artist which does these uh, pieces and then here it was. Wow, what a dining room. She has a sense of adventure in her choices. So things that normally won't go together, she's able to weave them together seamlessly. The wallpaper and the painting on top of it, I mean, who would have thought? And it, this piece is obviously talking to all the other pieces here in yes. this vignette. That little twist, that little wink that I love in art. The quirk, yeah. The little quirk. I've always been a collector of art, so it's just that it's spilled out from the house, basically. I remember discovering this and that, and then after that, introducing it you know, to my business or in my business, to my clients. I just look for a good balance between each object and also trying to give them a beautiful setup to shine on their own. Home for me is where the heart is. And this is where my heart lays. So my home is pretty much me. Yeah, who I am. <laughs> <laughs>